Hi there, uh, in this uh, Pool Solutions DIY help video uh, we will show you how we uh, will restore old and contaminated mosaic tiles with a lot of calcium deposits uh, and restore it uh, to a former glory like this. Uh, we will be using a grinding a method by which we grind these tiles with grinding discs and then uh, bring out the gloss again by applying an epoxy layer on top of it. We will be using P36 fiber discs from Lucas Abrasives of sim or similar make, uh, mounted on a rubber backing disc like this, uh, which uh, and we use the M14 flexi pad type. These are available from us, uh, the disc and the backing disc, and here you can see how we will slightly float over these tiles uh, to remove the dirt uh, without. Uh, grinding through the colored layer on these uh, mosaic tiles. This can be done on the very old type and small type of uh, mosaic tiles, uh, which is not available anymore. On later type of tiles, um, you might experiment with less abrasive type discs. Just cleaning by hand here, in the small spots. And then where there's cracks uh, and openings, uh, you can fill these with all white tile cement, or uh, we will be using the underwater pool patching uh, which is a product from Semcrete uh, to fill these cracks and holes and openings under the coping stone and also for any other cracks and openings uh, on the swimming pool. Before working with chemicals, it is necessary to take uh, some precautions, some basic uh, precautions uh, to prevent inhaling of any of the fumes, solvents uh, and any release from the chemicals. Protect the skin with basic uh, gloves, surgical gloves available from any pharmacy will do. And if necessary also uh, protect the eyes. Now this is the tools and the equipment that we will be using for this process. Uh, look at the electric drill and the mixing tip in the middle that we will use to mix the, epox the epoxy liquids uh, properly and also the mud and cloth for cleaning up any contamination uh, the mixing buckets at the back at the right and uh, you will see in the middle at the back some small measuring um, uh, mugs that we will use to measure out the correct quantities of the part A the three parts uh, a epoxy resin with the two parts of the epoxy curing agent and then of course the buckets with the epoxy liquids uh, that you can see there when mixing our epoxy liquids uh, please make sure that you always mix the epoxy resin part which is marked part A which could be the primer A or the top coat A but mix the the A part of the epoxy, the resin part, quite well before mixing it with a B component as you can see uh, we are doing here. Uh, in this application, however, we will be using primer A cross-linked to a top coat B component which is both a clear epoxy and you can see here we will be measuring out three parts of the primer A with two parts of the top coat B to obtain a basic clear coat that we can apply on top of the tiles. Now you can see here we, we are measuring out three parts of the primer A and we will now proceed to use the top coat B Right, there is the first part of the curing agent going into the mix. The second part. And we will mix this again thoroughly with a mixing tip and the electric drill. We mix in small quantities. As you can see here, we've got around about 2.5 liters mixed. There's a pot life 
after mixing these two components together uh, of about 30 minutes even shorter 15 to 20 minutes on warmer days so don't mix too much of this A and B parts together at one time uh, we will divide this quantity between the two painters and you can see the clear coat forming there and uh, once applied onto the tiles this will be completely see-through and a clear coat layer to bring out the gloss on the mosaic tiles again uh, we have grinded the tiles slightly uh, we've mixed the epoxy and we are now ready to start uh, with the roll-on application and you will see how the gloss of these tiles will be restored when we look at it from nearby now with the roller you, you get a little bit of a more uh, speckled finish as you can see here the clear coat that we mixed here is quite a, a, a crude mix nothing special nothing fancy so uh, there's no uh, surface release additives and self leveling additives in here and it will give you that little speckled finish uh, when they're rolled on but see what happens when you when you use a brush to do the finishing and in this video you will clearly see the difference between uh, the rolled on clear coat and using a brush which gives you a much more smooth gloss finish as he goes over it with the brush again and now watch out for that little patched area with the underwater pool patching coming up there it is and uh, here's the finished uh, look of uh, another pool that we did uh, only with the rolled on method and you can see the little more speckled look of it and this was before we applied the the other layers on the rest of the pool which you can see here and this was when it was finished pool painted clear coat on the tiles and uh, this was the finished result of, of this one hope you've enjoyed this vi video with us thank you